Sports brings you a special edition of the National Football League for this Christmas Day matchup. The veteran punter Bradley Pinion has this one teed up and we are underway from Atlanta. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. They're brought out by a guy who's become something of a journeyman. He's played for five teams across the last six seasons. The well-traveled Teddy Bridgewater. A Pro Bowl quarterback early in his career in Minnesota before a horrific knee injury slowed down his progress. He's a more than capable quarterback and makes the most of his opportunities when he's a starter in the NFL. On first and ten, Bridgewater. Flush to his right. Muscles him off. Still on his feet. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Now this throw caught left side. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. That one goes for 24 yards. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. Travis Etienne, a 15-yard touch. And the Lions will jump on top of the game's first score here this afternoon. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And running with power here. The Falcons ready to go to work here on offense. And at the helm in his second season, Charles, it's Desmond Ritter. And you know how scouts always talk about checking all the boxes? I think this young man does exactly that when you're looking for an NFL quarterback. Proven leader. Teams went 43-6 and six while he was in college. Has speed, dual threat ability, and production off the charts while he was in school. And also did a nice job of limiting turnovers. When you put it all together, there's a lot to be excited about for this young quarterback. And this will be a Falcons first down as the tackle made here at the 36. Ritter on first and 10. And complete to Drake London. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. Back now in Atlanta, second quarter action. The Falcons with the football. As they've got it with a second and four coming up. Back to throw, Ritter. Flushed out right. He'll get this into the hands of Van Jefferson. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. Here's Ritter. This went into the hands of Pitts. And he's going to be forced out of bounds inside the five-yard line. It's a big play there for Atlanta. 45 yards. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Another throw coming up here for Ritter. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Eluding the pressure right. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Desmond Ritter taking it in from four yards out. And the Falcons are an extra point away from evening this one up. To the extra point. And that is going to tie our game as 
we approach halftime. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. This taken in at the goal line. And just shutting him off there. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. Tie ball game, still a little more than a minute to go in the half. The question, can they put something together here, try to take that lead into intermission? I would have to think that would be the goal for sure. I don't think you sit on anything here. Here's your opportunity. Push it downfield. As you mentioned, it's a tie game. So minus a disaster on your part, you've got that in your back pocket. Go ahead and try and get some points and feel great going into the half. That's going to be caught by Josh Reynolds. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. A first down throw for Bridgewater. That one let go deep for Laporta. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jesse Bates. And the Falcons are going to have the football at their own one-yard line. And that was one I kind of saw coming, Charles. You had a free safety just hanging back there over the middle, waiting, and he saw that ball go in the air, and he jumped on it. And I don't know why the quarterback didn't see that. That was just your standard cover three. Free safety in the middle of the field. The two corners, and they divide the field in thirds. But when you have a free safety with range, like a good center fielder, he can go from side to side and make plays on the football as he did there. They start on the ground with Robinson here. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. On second down, another shot for Robinson. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. So we've reached halftime here on Christmas Day. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our... All right, so we skip the rest of halftime and get set for the third quarter. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. So we get set to start this third quarter. Here's the Falcons' offense now. Well, the first half, very even. I mean, really, in all facets, this ball game tied, Charles. So as we start the third quarter, curious to see what the second half brings us. Certainly am. I'm with you on that one. And we all know a lot of coaches from the NFL all the way down to the peewee level. They love to spin it to their teams. Hey, we're starting a brand new shorter ball game. It's all even. Let's go out and seize it. This is ours. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first half, incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target of the second half. Yeah, should not stop them at all from going back to him. Though. Find him. Find him. And now a shot to... Complete. Here's Bradley Pinion now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. So we get a look at the Lions offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. Yeah, both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not there he goes left side. He's still on his feet. He's on his way. Travis Etienne. Touchdown, Detroit. Travis Etienne, his second touchdown of the afternoon, and the Lions have taken the lead. One play, 80 yards. Pretty easy drive to recap. <laughs> it certainly is, but not so easy to execute. Twenty. 
you want something to kickstart your drive and get it off to a nice start. They went for the whole thing and got it. That's a great way to send a message to the opposing team. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And really, Charles, not much of a surprise that they're losing. They just haven't been able to get much of anything going in the pass game. And as you well know, in today's NFL, if the passing game isn't working, usually not much else is working either. Exactly right about that, partner. And I know that right now, the easy answer would be, hey, let's run the football. But that might not be everything you need. So despite the fact that they've struggled throwing it, they've got to find some type of a play, multiple plays, that puts the ball in the air and allows for them to have some success. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Ritter now. This pass is caught by London. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Now, meanwhile, a final play here is incomplete, and that's going to take us to the end of the third quarter of play. We are off to the fourth quarter here on this special Christmas Day broadcast. Back now here on EA Sports. Let's go now. It's the Falcons. They'll have the football, but trailing on the scoreboard as we get set to begin the fourth. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Football foul. Roughing the pass well, certainly those are the types of mistakes they're trying to avoid as they attempt to protect this lead late in the game. And let's face it, they're hoping that this one doesn't cost them in a significant... And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Royal. B.J. Robinson, a 12-yard touchdown run. And the Falcons are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. Well, the hard part's done. Now they just need to split the post, tie it up, but then their defense is going to have to hold up to send it to overtime. Yeah, no matter what. I know there's an inclination in it when you have momentum to go for two here, but if you miss it, you know. That's it all. Plus, it's been a good game. I want to see overtime. I'm selfish. <laughs> you obviously don't have a flight to catch tomorrow. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And he'll go out of bounds all the way down inside the 35. I know the special teams coach will not permit himself a smile here, but inside he's glowing. This is what he practices for. This is what he schemes. This is what he watches tape. To and his team in a position to score points, an absolute dream return. Able to slither by and able to break one tackle, but then quickly Ready. brought down. But a nice little game. Ready. Another run on second down. Try to cover up, and they'll bring him down at the 13 yard line. Here we go. Here we go. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. ETN once more, and he'll get it here to the 10 yard line. Falcons going to use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. And this is caught. And that could seal it. It's a touchdown. He was able to move around and found some vision to throw the football. And how about how he ended it? Boy, he had some zip on that throw. Yeah, it doesn't hurt to have an arm like that. Results in the touchdown here. Great play offensively. Hooker's looking to throw. He's got it, and they will not go quietly as we are back. Game. So they try to make it a two-score game with a conversion. It pays off. And they've looked at the situation, figured it out well. A two-score game in this situation, they've got to feel much better about where they are. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. So now Ritter and the Falcons down by nine. A little over 80 ticks to go. 
How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. That was one they needed to connect on. They're down, but not quite out. So you have to figure, with under two minutes to play, they need to hit on something in very short order. Yeah, he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. On first and 10, it's Robinson. Escapes the defender. And shutting the tackle, and now some room. And all the way down to the 10-yard line. Remember, you need a touchdown here and a field goal. Doesn't matter the order, but they have to get it done and get it done fast. Let's go. Go Here's first and ten. Ritter wants to throw it. Throw left side. There's London. And this carry brought to an end at the eight. Good stick skills, just not much room there to operate. Brings up second and eight. To the right side and complete to Jefferson. And he is into the end zone for the touchdown. So they still need a miracle for the clock where it's at, but they get one piece to the puzzle done. Still have hope. Problem for them, they needed that score with a little more time left on the clock. I think just too little, too late now. I would agree with that, and we're programmed never to say never. But in this case... We're asking a lot for them to even think they have a chance. They'll let Robinson try and run. And he's going to get in for the two points. It was an incredibly gutsy call, but they've taken the lead by a point late in the game. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. finish in this one, Charles. You know, this group, they come in, they have to fight a hostile atmosphere every snap. They get the late score, they get the victory, and that flight home, it's going to be a little sweeter after this one. And Brandon, just like you, I was fired up for that last sequence. How about that? Wouldn't you have 